welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swishing and reviewing the week expiration for the Gap Options newsletter for February 18th. Again, I'm showing every week from the beginning of this year, and I'm going to carry this through of the newsletters, the option newsletters. And again, the trades are timestamp. You can go look at them. You can go back. I have the charts in here too. In order to get the trades though, you have to sign up for the newsletter. But this might help people make some decisions to see what are we really doing on the letter? Again, we're doing puts and calls, but we're always doing gaps. I'm the one rating the gaps. So if you sign up for the subscription service, it's exactly that. You'll get the trade emailed to you in live time for you to do it, okay? I'm doing the rating. If you wanna learn how to do the ratings, how I make the picks, that's when you'd sign up for the overall class. All in all, this has been a good year 2022. And I suspect that we will have a good close to this year as well. So it's been an interesting year too. The volatility has made for a lot of good moves. This was another good week where there was an 87% win ratio, 15 trades, two losers, and return on investment average per trade was 143%, which is fantastic. So we did have some really big winners this week. Again, if you have any questions, you can always watch me on TV or give me a call at 929-3200-GAP. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So if you've been thinking about joining, if you really want to trade options, actually, if that's all that you want to do, this newsletter is perfect for you. But if you really want to learn the system, then you take the class. Either way, everything I do is based on the gap. I'm very, very focused in the morning. I get up pretty early and I do all my ratings early in the pre-market. Then I send out the newsletter. So most of them are sent early in the morning. Some are sent during the day, but most are sent, the majority of them, in the pre-market. So again, this particular week, we always do the weeklies. I'm not doing out for any long term. We're, 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 this is momentum trading. You get the move, you take it, you get in, you get out. It could be one day or a series of days, but that's it. We're just doing the weeklies. Win ratio was 87%. Number of winners this particular week was 13. Zero break evens, two losers, and 15 trades. It was a busy week. It really was. Advanced trader risk 8,000. Advanced trader profits for the week was $169,885 on an average return on investment of 143%. It was a very good week. Again, a lot of trades. Say you don't want to do all the trades, then do the ones you can. What I'm calling 15 trades in one week, like this week, it, they're trades with the market. So I'm seeing the market's going to go a certain direction, either up or down, and we're doing with the market. So even if you did two, if two work, that's the ones you're gonna get with it. Do you know what I'm saying? So you'll see what I mean here as we're going over these and looking at the charts. Facebook we did for the 220 puts that I called on February 8th, expired on the 18th, exit was on the 17th. Again, a put is a short. I did call this one in the afternoon. For some reason, let's look at this. Uh, cost was six dollars and twenty cents. Number of contracts was twelve. Risk was seventy four forty. Sold eleven fifty. Profit six thousand three hundred sixty dollars. Return on investment was eighty five percent, which is very good. Fifty percent is good. You know, booking money is extremely important, and this fell into right before the day of the expiration. If you held it the last day, you actually could have made a little bit more. But I think it's chancy to do that when you're up in something. The goal you're not supposed to hold every trade till the end of expiration. I, I talked to someone once and said they did that. No, you get the momentum and you get out of it. If it happens big in the first day, you're out the first day. So again, the eighth. So this one closed your gap down, backed up, then it broke. So again, if this had gone faster, quicker the first day, you could have got out there, but it backed up a bit. Still a nice trade, still was profitable. You see where it dropped, take it to the right. Again, 220 was the strike, so it fell through the strike. Again, a put is a short. Then we did a call, which by the way, did not work. So this was a loser. We did the Apple calls, they failed. This was Wednesday the 9th. They were super cheap and they totally went bust. In fact, they never really went right at all. This was on that day here, fell, gap down, failed, fell with the market, never went anywhere higher. Again, it was the 180 calls, never got to it, never got through it, just didn't go. That was February. That was a loser. Then we did the SPY 453 puts. It expired on the 18th. Exit was 217. $3.60 for one. 20 contracts. Risk was 7200. 
sold at $15.50, profit was $23,800 and a huge return on investment. Why? It was a really big move and again went very far through the stri strike price. And as long as it does that before the expiration, you are golden, golden. So 210 was here, closed here, gap down, fell off a cliff. If you held it the last day, you actually would have made more money. It, it went to basically 425, it looks like the last day. Completely insane. Almost $30 through the strike on the last day. But to get out the day before, I think is, you know, conservative to say the least. You need to make sure to book profits. This isn't about picky targets. And again, we're going over advanced trader risk. I will go over beginners for people, but this is not about how much you risk it's about how well you're doing the trade how well you're making the picks again the you're paying me to sign up for the subscription because i'm doing the work to make the quality picks so it's your job to take it with your risk accordingly and then make sure you book the money you can't forget about the part about booking the money people you know the symbol was a qqq strike was 360 expiration date was february 18th exit was 217 the type was a put okay so again you're doing this and you are in and you are out. And this was very similar to the market or the, the SPY that we just looked at too. Cost was $4, 20 contracts, risk was 8,000, sold at $14, profit was 20,000, returned an investment 250%. A nice trade by anyone's standards. And once again, you are trading momentum. This is momentum trading. This isn't long-term investing where you're buying and holding or shorting and holding forever. So again, same thing. Close to your gap down, fell off a cliff. If you held it the last day, you made more even here. It, 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 this was good. 360, take it over, get the drop, boom. Went to 340. So that was a nice trade. I mean, just a solid, good sell-off, got the move. If you took half this risk, you know, if you risk four grand, you would have made 10. It's just a strategic trade. This isn't a couple of days, people. This isn't a couple of weeks or a couple of months. This is in days, days. Again, momentum trading is the most profitable, profitable trading. It, 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 it really is. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, I, I think they scalp, you know what I mean? They get their, like, they don't have enough conviction they are scalping, 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 and they think that that's all that the market has to give. But that's not true. The best trades, the biggest trades that I ever, ever do that I make the most amount of money are big moves. They could be bullish moves, they could be bearish moves. Now, while I prefer to short, uh, which is one of the reasons it's been such a fun year to trade with the stock swish, we do, we do longs too. In fact, we did a bunch of longs this past month, actually. Anyways, then we did the Amazon 30, this is before it split, 3180, expiration date 218, tight was a put, take it, get in, get out. Again, this was a move or two, 55 was a cost, they were a little pricey, but that's what this used to cost when they were this much. Two contracts is 11,000, sold at 110, profit was 11,000 and 100% return on investment. Say you can't watch the trade. I do put targets in the letters, Say you can't watch for the targets. Well, then you can put a sell order at 50% or 75% or 100% of whatever you want to do if you can't watch it, okay? Let's go over here where we were. Here was the 10th, got the drop, boom, out. Again, sell off. Oh, this was an old, this is, an, this is the new chart, shoot, I, Wish I would have got this before the the numbers here don't make sense because this I must have stuck this in here since the since the split shoot. Meh. Well, this was a day, so you can see that it that sold off, but to the but the numbers don't add up because the stock split. But you know what? This has made it very uh, inexpensive to trade these now actually because the because after the stock split, so people are doing Amazon now that could never do them before and afford them before. And the stock still moves pretty big. So Netflix, then we did the 400 puts. It expired 218, called 210, exit 217. The Netflix 400 strikes expired on 218. It was a put, okay, again, this was sent out 849 in the morning in the pre-market, 
Cost was $7.25, 10 contracts. Risk was $7,250. Sold for $13.50. Profit was $6,250 with 86% return on investment. That is very, very good. Again, if you're looking for something where you're just going to grab 10 cents or 5 cents, you're, it's going to be hard for you to win in trades like that and cover trades that lose because we have trades that lose. You can't make money doing this unless you have, first of all, more winners and losers. And second of all, the winners have to be decent sized winners, a good return on investment to, to cover the losses because very often the losers are full losers. I mean, sometimes you, you say you want to exit a trade a certain place and you can't get out. It turns around against you overnight before you even have a chance to get out of it, you know? So 8 to 10, we did the Netflixes. Again, the 400s, get the drop, boom. So again, this fell into it, take it over. Again, this fell more later in the month and then into March, it looks like here. But it still was profitable, it still was a good trade. It still was close to 100%, not quite, went over the 50 mark, and it was a good trade, okay? Then we did the Facebooks, 227.50, expired on 218. Again, what is it? It's a put. This was a time where we were doing puts. It was February 10. Cost was 375. And again, very often I'm reading these with market direction. I'm very good at reading market direction. That's one of the benefits of trading with me. It's something that I'm good at that a lot of people are not. Doesn't mean I get it right all the time. I get it right a lot. Number of contracts, 20. 7,500 risk, sold at 1775. $28,000 in profit with a $7,500 risk. Again, you could have taken half this. You could have taken 10 contracts, okay? And you could have risked 37.50 and you could have made 14 grand in this trade. That's totally doable for a lot of people. This was a couple of days to get the move. Return on investment was 373%. And again, ironically, doesn't look like something crazy, but it was a good one. Again, do it, get the drop, get out, boom. It fell far through the strike. Again, I'm calling it 227.50 here, and here's where it's selling off. So it went pretty good through the strike, you know? Again, continued. Then we did the PayPal, strike 122, expired February 18th. This was a put, okay? $2.40, number of contracts 40, risk was 9,600, sold at 15.50, profit $52,400, return on investment 546%. Take it, get in, get the move, get out. A huge trade, why? It went so far through the strike. This was another one that was such a gorgeous call take it over here, sell off, boom. Look at that, boom. So a really big move for the options chain, a really big return investment. When you look at the chart, you're like, oh, these are little bars, but it's falling. It's selling off, you know, we'll take it. Then I changed the format of the newsletter. These are a lot prettier now. My assistant actually did this, very fancy. Symbol is a QQQ, 356, expired February 18th. Again, it put, this was on Friday the 11th, 10.15 in the morning, cost $5.80, number of contracts 15, risk $8,700, sold at 10, profit $6,300, return on investment 72%. A nice trade, a good trade, a solid trade. You don't really wanna hold something that's up this much money until the very last day. It doesn't make sense. I think this did go further though the last day. Let's look, 211. Here, 356. Yeah, it did. 335. So it went twenty-one dollars to the strike on the last day. But I really think the 17th again, how can you knock it out of something when you're up that much money and you got one day left and it could reverse against you? Time time is important in options. Time value is extremely important in options. But I mean, if you're up in a trade also, you want to make sure you book the profit. Then we did the SPY 455s, expired on the 18th, out on the 17th, 850 was the cost for 110 contracts, risk 8,500, sold at 1750, profit $9,000, return on investment 106%. Good trade, solid train. Similar setup where got the push. Again, here's the 
date of the call, which was the 11th, got the sell-off drop, fell even into the last day. But again, if you look at where we're at up here, 455, and then you look at where it went, it's a good one, $20 through. Momentum is so critical and so key to making money trading. The 439 SPIs expired 218. Again, we did a lower strike. I call this on Monday the 14th at 10.02. That's fine. This one squeezed it out into the last day because it didn't go as fast or right as I thought. It backed up, I'll show you. Cost was 550, 15 contracts. Risk was 82.50, sold at 650. Profit $1,500, return on investment 18%, which wasn't fabulous, but it was a winner. Here was what happened. So again, fell here, called it, backed up, dropped, went, got out of it with profit, but you know, didn't really work the way that I wanted it to, to be honest. But it was a winner, it was a winner. Then we did the Qs, 345s, again, puts, called on Monday, 475 was the cost, 20 contracts, risk was 9,500, sold at 550, profit $1,500, return on investment 15%. Again, very similar here where you're doing it, backs up, drops lean. Some people kill them if they don't go the first day. I don't do that, I really don't, but, but some people do. So some people kill this and just killed it. On the Monday at 11.14, the 343 diamonds, again, this was a put. This one lost, again, eked it out the last day, barely came back, almost a break even, lost 625. This was very similar to the cues in the spy. It just kind of ran out of time because it backed up. It just backed up again backed up dropped it had the move really the following week actually you can see where it went in the following week i find playing for two weeks out though can be really dicey because then you pay so much and then it's almost like you don't make as much and i really feel like this should go pretty quickly 24 to 48 hours of the same week again momentum momentum this isn't trend trading people facebook 215s expired on the 18th exit on the 17th this was the thursday exit 380 was the cost, 20 contracts, risk was 7,600, sold at $7, profit was 6,400, return on investment 84%. A nice trade by anyone's standards. Nobody said you have to hold something forever until the last day, but sometimes, even if you do, you can eke out even more. I know it's crazy, but I just want to show you where this went. 215, it was at $215 to the strike on the last day. It's just, you know, ridiculous, but. This was a nice trade. 214 was the day I called it. Then we got the sell up here. You're in, you're out, boom. I mean, it bled down. It just completely bred down. It was a nice trade. Again, 84% return on investment, but it was slightly more in the last day. Then we did the two tens. These, this was good too. Again, I sometimes I'll double up and I'll call one, two, three. If I'm absolutely in love with the gap, which I was, this was the 210 Facebooks. So these were cheaper, cost was $2, contracts was 40. So say I call one and you think it's too expensive, you can't do it, or as many. Then you do the, you can do a higher strike or a lower strike, depending if it's a call or a put. Sold at 350, 6,000 profit, return on investment, 75%. This is the exact same day, the exact same chart. You can stack them, or you can do one, get out of one, you can do one and hold one. Do you know what I mean? Here's the drop, boom, out. Again, this is momentum, selling, you know, and you have shorts in there too. So if you are interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, this is a subscription service. It's very beneficial for people that don't have time to be in the day trading room every day and they still wanna make money and they wanna be able to trade and they don't have time to do the class or really don't even have any interest in doing the class. I think that learning is important personally. I think people trade better when they learn, but some people just wanna do their own thing and take the trades and that's all they wanna do. So that is something that is totally up to you and you can make up your own mind. I have a lot of people that end up doing the trades, I mean, uh, signing up for the newsletter and then they end up doing the class at some point later. So, you know, you could do that. They, they do the options, they see it works, they start to make money and then they end up doing the class. I offer also the six month subscription, $49.99 for six months, takes into February, 2023 from now, it's August. That's crazy. That's a lot of trades and a lot of time. So you can sign up for the six months. It's still a good deal. Either way, you're getting a lot of trades. I do not have a monthly, I do not have any trials. This letter is like gold. You will have to pay to sign up to get the calls. 
Uh, in, in general, I think people are very happy with this. Sometimes people are nervous about signing up for options because they've been at other subscription services and have lost money. This is, I'm very pinpointed what I do. This is in general trend trading. I'm very pinpointed. And again, we do trades with the market, but we also do selective things on news and earnings that we don't need the market. I am very good at reading the market though, which is why a week like this, we could just bang it out and you have so many winners. So if you have concerns, if you have questions, just email me, just email me and I will answer them for you. But if you wanna sign up for the class, if you wanna learn, that's totally fine because I offer the class once a month. You can sign up for the newsletter though today and start trading right away. But the process that I go through is I get up in the morning and rate the gap. And if you wanna do the class, you learn the checklist of the ratings that I go through the whole thing. I go through the whole shebang. My main goal is making money. I think this is one of the reasons why trading with me is beneficial because I created the system for myself, not to teach it to anyone. That was never my goal. It ended up evolving into that when I realized I had a voice by doing YouTube videos and then it evolved into a business. I wanted a new job. I wanted out of the mortgage industry. And so if you're in a job where you don't like it and you're unhappy, I mean, it can be very miserable if you get up every day and you don't like what you do. You know, I was in that frame of mind for myself for a number of years uh, towards the end of my mortgage career. I was really wanting to find something else. But when you're making money and you have a good income, it's hard to replicate that just out of the gate in a second. So you take the class you learn, keep your job up. Once you're making money trading, then you can transition. I do have people that are retired that were trading with me too, and it's a secondary income for them. So think about the reasons you wanna do this. There are definitely a lot of benefits to trading. There are challenges too, but you can overcome them. I'm here to support you. And again, I'm here to teach you, and that's one of the reasons why you're paying me to take the class and for the information. But I mean, it's all about financial freedom, and in this today's day and age, everyone's looking for that. You, I mean, the cost of food, gas, everything has gone sky high. And I don't think the cost of food, to be honest with you, is ever going to go to back down again. Like, I think this is the price of some of these food products is what it is. So it is up to you to take care of yourself. You can do this from home or you're from your office, wherever you are in the world. And again, every trade is based on the Golden Gap system. What is the Golden Gap system? It's a system I created over the course of three years. And I own it. It's a system you can come and learn from me in the Golden Gap course. The Golden Gap system is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. So the trades in the newsletter are evaluated by me in the pre-market in the morning. If you take the class, you'll know how to do it yourself. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26 point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. So again, you come, you learn, you you take the class, you go through the checklist, you can learn it in the Golden Gap course. This is a class that I teach once a month usually. For upcoming dates and times, go to my website, www.thestockswish.com for upcoming dates and times. Class tuition is $69.99, class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me if you'd like more information or questions. And again, remember, education is a gift to yourself. Yes, it's a cost up front. It's a cost to doing business if you want to change careers and you want to get involved with doing this, even if you're trading part time. I really think you got to know what you're doing to do it. But there's people that are trading for a number of years that want good trade ideas. And so the newsletter works for them. So they sign up for the newsletter because they don't care about learning because they just want trade ideas. And they've traded for many years in the past and they, they do it and they manage your trades for themselves and it all works out. So I really don't know what you're interested in. I do think education is important, but if you just want the trade, sign up for the newsletter. It is definitely less stressful to trade when you're following someone. It's, it's really just when you can call someone or email someone or ask them questions, it makes it so much easier for you. The market's been tricky this year. I've been reading it well. We'll see where we go. If you have any questions, email me again at melissa at Have a great day, everyone.